This isn't the usual type of video I make or the type that I like to make, but we have to address this problem. In recent years, movie recap channels have become increasingly popular on YouTube. I see these videos pop up and recommended from time to time, and it wasn't until recently that one particular recap set me off and inspired me to make this video. I've always had a bit of disdain for recap channels. I feel like the content is lazy, unoriginal, and unhealthy for cinema, but I never really cared enough to say anything about it until this one particular video popped up and I recommended. Now before I reveal what the video is, a huge spoiler alert for the Shawshank Redemption. I'm going to give you 3 seconds to click away so I don't explain one of the greatest films of all time for you. Okay, still here? You watched it? Good. Okay, so here's the video. Now take a look at it and just take it in. Does something stick out? That's right, they just spoiled the whole fucking movie in the video title. No spoiler warning, no courtesy, they just straight up spoiled it for you. If you saw this video title before you got to see the movie, then tough luck. Now I'm not going to go through this channel so I don't spoil other movies, but this is a serious problem that I notice with movie recap channels. They say way too much in their titles, to the point where every time I see a recap channel I recommended, I block the title in my hands to not spoil anything for myself, while I tediously click the not interested button to hopefully deter future recommendations. I understand that recap channels just want clicks, but spoiling the movie in the title of your video is just a dick move. Especially when you can have other titles that are just as or even more attention grabbing. For example, with the Shawshank Redemption, they could have just put Rich Banker gets wrongfully imprisoned for wife's murder, and it would have worked out just fine. Now, not every recap channel spoils the movies in their titles. Some show us the kindness of just giving us the hooks that engage the audience within the movie without spoiling it, but I also want to talk about how recaps shouldn't be promoted or widely used in the majority of cases. The only time where I think it's really acceptable to use a movie recap is if you need it for a class, or if it's a movie that you know for sure that you won't watch. But even in that latter case of a movie that you know you won't watch, I would suggest that you try to make the time to watch the movie anyway, but if I had to put a general rule on it, I would say that if it's below a 6 on IMDb, then it's generally not worth your time. Now keep in mind I'm someone who loves film and wants to eventually work in the industry, so of course I'm going to say that you should watch movies whenever you can regardless of how long they are or mass opinion, because reviews and audience reception never tell the full story. But the people who watch recaps are not people who are in the film. People who watch these videos just want a quick fix of storytelling that will only take them 8-15 to 15 minutes. And to be honest, this is horrible for the art that is film. Before I got into movies, I used to be someone who could watch a recap or read a synopsis and not care. But now I stand by the fact that the least that we can do to the actors, directors, and various other crews that have spent countless of hours to make this movie is to take the two hours or so to watch their end product. Sure, some movies may not be as intricately crafted as others, but making a movie still takes a lot of time and effort. So the least that we can do is to take the time to watch something that is meant to be enjoyable in the first place. I hate to say it, I'm gonna sound like a boomer, but honestly, the fast content that we see on TikTok and other platforms does make us a bit less patient. Now, I'm not just saying that the rest of my generation is like this because believe me, I'm a victim of this too. I have spent plenty of time on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels, and it's really easy to get caught in a cycle of swiping, with hours passing by and not even noticing. But this instant content probes us to immediately get some gratification or satisfaction, and this intrudes with us when we take the time to read a book or watch a movie. Especially when those books or movies aren't quick to give us something that grabs our attention and we have to be patient. Movie recaps also just chip away at the art that is cinema. These recaps get rid of the pacing, cumulative hints, and character development that movies have by just cutting to the chase of it. We don't get to see the movie at the rhythm that the director wants us to see it at, and we don't get to experience the emotions that the characters are going through, because in recaps we relate everything through a narrator that just summarizes key plot points. We don't get to see what the director and cinematographer want us to see, and we don't get to hear what the music composer wants us to hear. All of the hard work and messages that are present in the film are nullified, since these recaps just give us the bare bones. We don't get to have that key takeaway or climactic moment, since we don't get that build up or the subtle parts of the story. A movie recap can make even the greatest movies forgettable, since the tension and pacing that films thrive on are taken out of the equation. Now, I don't think movie recap channels are all bad. I think for some indie movies, they get some exposure and notice they otherwise might not have gotten, and that's a great thing. But I think overall, movie recaps should be avoided, unless if it's a movie that you know you would never consider even watching, or if it's a movie that you need for a class discussion. But even then, I would just say tough it out and watch the film. However, the main reason why I made this video is because I believe we can all agree that spoiling a movie in your recap title is just below the belt, and it gets rid of the charm and twist that movies are meant to have. In my honest opinion, movie recaps are lazy, uncreative, and unoriginal, but I do see why they have a following, and I do think they have a time and place for certain situations. Personally, if I've seen a movie but I've forgotten some of the details, I'll rewatch the whole movie, but a movie recap in that situation would suffice. Either way, I'm a film guy, so you know my answer is always just going to be to watch the movie, just like how a book lover will tell you to ditch the spark notes. Movie recaps have a time and a place, but I would never recommend them as a first resort that they have become. Guys, that is all I have for this video. Please let me know if you agree with me or if you think I'm being a bit too harsh. Feel free to check out my other videos. I try my best to be original and talk about things that people haven't spoken about before, so I think you'll enjoy some of my other content. If you made it this far, thank you so much, I love you, and I genuinely hope that you have a great rest of your day.